Hello everybody, good evening, hello, hello, welcome to our Train Simulator 2021. No, it's not, it's Train Sim Classic now, isn't it? I'm thinking Bus Simulator 21. Uh, it's because so many people are talking about Bus Simulator 21. But yes, we are on Train Sim Classic tonight. You find us up at Selby in a class 802. It's one of the Paragon Fleet, one of five, I think it is, uh, that hold trains currently operate. Now, this is a scenario by Magic Toad, who is uh, a colleague of mine, and do you know what? I'll even go as far as to say friend as well. <laughs> it's uh, the nicest did... thing you've ever said to me. I know, it is, isn't it? Uh, he's joining me this evening. He's the one that's made the scenario, and there is a link in the description where you can pick the scenario up. It's two hours and ten minutes, and it's a whole train service from Selby to London King's Cross. Uh, it costs one pound, so one pound, I personally don't think it's that bad for two hours and ten minutes of entertainment. There's quite a few requirements for it but then again it is based off a real time table and you want the realism don't you so yeah there's uh, there's quite a few requirements anyway who have we got in we've got Imran joining us hello hello Magic Toad of course Nathan Lowe hello Hot Wheel Alex Turton I need donuts don't we all uh, James UK Jack B Transport Guy hello 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 Train Guy Car Guy M Howling Wolf 989 hello 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 and uh, Nightmare Gamer oh Nathan Jordan's here as well hello Nathan welcome to our stream Emily J Smith as well excellent yes we're all we're all here and raring to go uh, yeah Magic Tub will keep putting uh, the dis uh, the in it's in the chat now you see the the want to play the scenario you spelt want wrong love but apart from that. Um, and uh, yes, here we are. So uh, we, we're ready to go. We're going to go with guard operated without the selected door opening because we don't need that. We'll get it set up first of all. We've got AWS. There we go. Right, take the DRA off because we're all good. We'll open the doors. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So we're up at Selby this evening. And, uh, oh, hang on, we'll turn, turn the lights around. There we go. Uh, we are going to have to periodically save this because it's quite a long scenario, and uh, I always recommend saving it every time you stop the train. I have played this scenario all the way through, and it did work without crashing. I know that on the, um, the Alan Thompson sim Leeds Lines Merge, um, on long scenarios with lots of traffic, it can be quite unstable. And to be fair, that's not an Alan Thompson sim route problem. I mean, that was always even back in the day with uh, with the the other line what's it called that other line the great eastern great eastern to Ipswich. right off we go I'm drinking right yeah sorry I'm, I'm waiting until uh, you take a swig of your drink and then ask you a question yeah the great eastern main line uh, that was always a, a thing wasn't it a little bit unstable with lots of scenarios so anyway yes we are on the 802 and you will have noticed the eagle-eyed amongst you that it is a double set because this particular scenario is uh, it's based off when it was the king's coronation it's nine o'clock in the morning leaving selby and uh, yeah hull trains did strengthen a couple of their services to 10 cars because obviously everybody wants to go to london so yeah we're on a double set i personally absolutely love the livery uh, we were offered by lewis Clowes to uh, to use his uh, he's making a repaint of 802 305 which instead of the coloured uh, section on the side it's black and white for their 21 year anniversary of Hull Trains. Can you believe they've been going that long? It's mental isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, yeah he did offer that but it was a little bit late for us to change it. He hadn't quite finished the repaint so we thought we'd, we'd revisit it another time um, but yeah it was looking absolutely fantastic looking really really good but yeah we're, uh, we're on a 10 car service. I don't know if one of these is 305 We've got 303 on the front and 304 on the back. What a lovely pair that uh, that makes. Right, we're going to just nip back in. You will notice that uh, that we've got only 50% power. I am only doing 50% power, and there's a reason for that. Um, we we're, uh, we're we're going to have to wait. If you look, it says Templehurst Junction. Uh, that we are actually going to stop there. There's no point me rushing down to Templehurst Junction because otherwise we'll just end up sat uh, for longer. Uh, so yeah, uh, why is there a slow mode of one minute? Uh, I don't know. I think it's because it gets it can get a little bit busy, can't it? Sometimes in the chat, so it just gives me chance to uh, to read what everybody's putting. Oh, hang on. You what? Sorry. I can't turn that off. I, I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, <laughs> magic tubs can't do it, and I don't know how to. Yeah. 
Uh, Nathan Jordan, literally never heard of Hull Trains until last year. How can you not? They used to have a fantastic, well, they still do have a fantastic fleet, but they used to have 170s running this route, replaced by 222s, replaced by 180s, and now uh, we've got 802s. I'm hoping the 802s are going to be here to stay. They seem to get on a good thing at Hull Trains, and then the DFT take the trains off them, don't they? Did you say 170s as well? Yeah, they had 170s, yeah. didn't they, at the beginning? Uh, and Imran, oh, don't worry about it, Imran. Don't worry about it. It'll be, uh, it'll be absolutely fine, I'm sure. Right, let's have a look. Oh, it's TJ's birthday as well. Well, happy birthday. This is, uh, this is mine and Magic Toad's gift to you. Uh, a nice stream all the way down to London. Uh, the weather is looking a little bit miserable. Was it miserable when the king was coronated? It was raining, wasn't it? I mean, uh, oh, were it raining? Mm. I mean, I don't think I was over in Hull that day. So, I, 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 to be fair, if I was on a Hull service. If I was over in Hull, then uh, I, I would have probably seen the, the fantastic 10 car 802 and got a bit excited. But yeah. Um, transport guy, uh, oh, my day is absolutely fantastic, thank you. And I currently work on the railway, which is why I love trains him so much. I won't bore you with all the details of what I do, but yeah, I am a railway employee and it's brilliant, I love it. Remember, I only knew between Saxelby and Lincoln. What, the, just trains, yeah. Just Saxelby and Lincoln, that was uh, Nathan's entire. UK uh, knowledge. Uh, yes, Peter, I can do the... Uh, we're, we're just going to wait because we're coming up to the the, uh, the junction, aren't we? We'll nip outside to have a better look at the train in just a second when we stop. What I want to do... Yep, yeah, we are driving all the way to King's Cross on this Kian. It's uh, just over two hours, so buckle up. Get yourself a drink, get sat down, and uh, get yourself something to eat, maybe. It's, uh, well, it's seven o'clock, isn't it? Let's have a little bit of a break there. Just a nice, steady stop. There's no rush, is there? How long's the trip? About, uh, right, hang on, there we go, it tells you there. So, it's the coronation weekend, and to aid with providing capacity into and out of the capital, your 824 Hull to London King's Cross has been strengthened to 10 carriages. Picking up the service at Selby, work the remainder of the way to King's Cross. There are no delays to report. And it should be a good run. The schedule is as follows. Selby at 9.01, Templehurst Junction, Doncaster, 9.25 departure, Retford, 9.39, Grantham, 10.01, and London King's Cross at 11.07. So, uh, yeah, it's two hours and seven minutes, to be precise. Um, right, where are we now? Watching this while playing train sim. Absolutely. Uh, like I say, if you want to... Uh, oh, I know it's Control and D to isolate the driver's vigilance device, but we're, we're playing it properly tonight. We're, uh, we're, we're doing things properly, and uh, it's, it's going to be a good run. Hopefully I'm not going to drop the DSD at all. It's, uh, yeah, right. Slowing down. Uh, am I interviewing Magic Toad today? I, I can interview Magic Toad. Do you want to be interviewed? You're not going to put like a torch in my face, are you? Yes. Tell me all about your scenario. Why did you do this scenario? <laughs> I love the 802 on this. I would like the sound turned up in the cab. Do, do you want me to... I, I can try and... I mean, I, I don't know, obviously, because I'm talking. I can't... If I change that, does that make the, the sound any better? The 802 has always been quiet. It is a quiet unit, isn't it, to drive? So here we go, we're at Templehurst Junction, you can just see the East Coast Main Line joining from the right hand side. Trainspotter Casey, good evening, good evening, good evening. Uh, Nathan Lowe, TP, uh, yeah, 28th of May, that's that's what we've heard, yeah. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, absolutely sure. Will you change power at Retford? No, we should change power uh, just as we get on the East Coast. Now we'll, uh, we'll even do it on the move, we'll be a little bit stealthy. There you go. So, we're, uh, we're coming to a stand. Yeah, the only reason that I haven't done too much looking outside of the train is just because I found on train sim on my personal save, uh, this is where we took the uh, the nice screenshot for the thumbnail as well. So, you can probably guess what's going to happen if you've looked at the thumbnail. Um, the, uh, yeah, um, problem is on scenarios like this, when there's a lot of traffic and you start looking outside the train a lot and rapidly flicking between views, uh, between camera angles, it does seem a little bit more likely to uh, to crash on you. And seeing as we've got quite a long way to go, I thought we'd, we'd better not do that. I'm going to save it at every stop, so if it does crash, we'll just resume from our last station. But we are getting to King's Cross tonight, people, uh, no matter how against this train sim is. Uh, yes, there is an Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Pack for the 802. It's just a Hitachi 80 Doodah Pack. Um, but yeah, it does include the 802, and that's where this liver is from. 
Uh, train sim, good lord. Uh, the actual copy of Train Sim is about, what, 24 99 Is it? Just, ah, there you go, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, it's worked. It's worked! There's some times where when you arrive here, the uh, it's just gangways going past that doesn't spawn the train in. Look at that. Beautiful. Hurtling past. No, don't worry about it. Oh, you currently have route building. What are you building, all things transport? Something uh, excellent, I hope. Yeah, Joshua plays. Spoiler, there's an 801 passing. In fact, we'd better put the DRA on, haven't we? We'll be a, a proper, decent driver. Because we're sat at a red signal. They change power at Retford, why not in Doncaster? Oh, I don't know. Do they do they actually change at Retford? I ain't a clue. No, they change when they go under the wires. Do they do, they do it on the move, like Great Western? Yeah, the uh, the Atlantic Jet 001 says thinks the base game is 19 quid, but obviously don't forget there's plenty of add-ons. You don't get all your routes, of course. Uh, every route pretty much costs you, and all the free routes have the dependencies of the payware stuff. So uh, yeah, there's there's plenty of uh, expenses. We've got this lovely whole trains interior. Look at that. It's nice, isn't it? Go, is it not? There we go. Right into uh, into throttle, into power even. And away we go. Double yellow, so we'll, uh, we'll get accelerating. Uh, are there announcements? Not on this. Oh, I could have done some announcements, couldn't I? I did the TPE ones for uh, the Class 185 for Alan Thompson Sim. I nearly said Armstrong Powerhouse, but it was Alan Thompson Sim, wasn't it? Ben Satnav, hello. Welcome to our stream. How are we all this evening? Uh, I believe Hull Trains change power at Doncaster. See, the problem is now is everybody's saying different things and I don't know. <laughs> when I was at Doncaster, it came in on electric. Uh, Joseph Dawson says RTT, Real Time Trains, says paths as 80X on electric from Templehurst Junction. So I guess they do change on the move. Alex Hardingham, hello, hello, hello. James UK saying at Doncaster. Joe, don't be chasing aspects. I know, but to be fair, the LNER was going past at 125, and we're just at 50. Well, provided she's not at work, I shall sit up and do There you go. Who's not at work? Kate. Oh, Kate Sellers, yeah. Oh, Kate, a good, uh, good friend of ours. Yeah, right, we'll get to the signal, so then we know all the trains under the wires. Power off, N. There we go, power mode electric. Hold it again, and the engine's going off. Right, we're on electric, as easy as that. Nathan Jordan, they change on the move, apparently. I've been to Doncaster uh, from Selby and you can hear it changing. So, uh, yeah, there you go. God, there's a right argument going on in the chat, isn't there? <laughs> oh, hang on, 75, right, let's, uh, let's put it up to 125. We'll see if we can get to 125 before Doncaster. Towards Doncaster, it changes power while moving. Maybe going northbound, they leave Doncaster on diesel. I, I have no clue. We'll find out <laughs> when we get an answer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cheers for that transport legend. I appreciate it. Oh, we've got someone coming the other way. Bit of traffic. Got a Lunar going to uh, Edinburgh. Possibly. Is it an Edinburgh? Is it a York? You just never know, do you? Imagine you probably do know, because you built the scenario. Where's he going, then? Edinburgh. Ah, oh, lovely. I think. All the trains have the destinations on. Do they? They do. But they're not on the front, are they? So we're... No. No. So you can't, like, pause it as you go past. It'll take us a long time to get to London if I, uh, if I actually stop every single time. Every time a train goes past, we stop the, uh, pause the stream to see where it's going. 103. They are quick, to be fair, aren't they? They're, uh, they're, they're nice and nippy, these trains. The 802 is one of my favourite trains, but I can't find it on TrainSim. Right, okie dokie, what you need to do is you need to buy the East Coast Mainline South route add-on. It comes with a Class 801 included, and then you buy the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Pack, and that's where you'll get all your 800, 801, 802 liveries. Uh, they've got the Avanti West Coast liveries, haven't they? 803 as well. 803, yeah. Uh, I don't think they're going to get the New East Midlands 
Aurora things, are they? Because uh, they're, they're, they're completely different from... Imran Ariba donated one pound. Very, very kind of you, Imran. Cheers for that. You should save your pound, Imran, and go and buy the scenario from Magic Toad. Because it's, uh, yeah, like I said, I've, I've already driven this to London, so we've, we've done this before. So I'll pretend to act surprised when we see exciting things on the move, but yeah, I have already done this. Just to test it works before uh, premiering it to, uh, to you lot. And, uh, but yeah, oh, what's this coming the other way now? It looks a bit fast, it's not LNER, it's Hull Trains, give them a wave. Give our, uh, our own company a wave there. Uh, yeah, don't worry about City Skylines. We're not going to come back to City Skylines 1 with the announcement of City Skylines 2. Uh, we're going to wait for City Skylines 2 to come out and then go from there. Fingers crossed that'll be brilliant. Right, we're at 125. That's us sorted to King's Cross now, isn't it? Some might do it at Doncaster, some might do it on the move, and some might forget altogether. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. As long so long as they don't forget, to... it's better to forget going southbound than forget going northbound, well, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Go over uh, Temple Earth Junction and Pantograph, fly off. Ooh, that's not what you need, is it? It'd be in hot water for breaking one of the new trains. So, according to a, a reliable source, a reliable source, all trains do it on the move at Temple Hurst. And is that both northbound and both. southbound? Yeah, on the, on the east amount, it's Temple Righty oh, there you go, it's all been cleared up everybody, uh, according to a reliable source, uh, it's, uh, the Hull trains do it on the move at Templehurst Junction. So there you go, uh, if you have seen them coming into Doncaster on diesel, uh, either something's broken or they've got, there you go, but officially they're meant to change over at Templehurst Junction. Oh it's good to settle a row isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I was wondering if I'd uh, if I'd done it on uh, Kept King's Cross and still on diesel. Yeah, absolutely. Alex Turton, really enjoying the stream so far. Really like the 802s, but for further paces on 158s. Oh, Philip Radford, thank you very much for that. That's very kind of you. Keeping the channel afloat. Can afford to have my tea now, can't I? <laughs> the tea that I'm buying. Oh, are you paying for tea? Oh, you are good. Well, God, look at that, folks. A stream and I get my tea bought for me. You can come again. Nathan Jordan, I don't I don't like this anonymity. Well, this source may wish to remain anonymous. Imran, don't worry about that, I'll be buying it after the stream. He's just checking to see if it works first. Oh right. <laughs> Yeah, Waiting to see if it works, see if we get to London and then he'll buy it if uh, if we manage to get there. It's a good way of doing it, isn't it? Put the kettle on, you've got three pence towards the electric. Exactly! I won't run the kettle nowadays, it's a cost of living crisis. That's a very interesting point. Will we see a Lumo today? I don't know. I genuinely can't remember if I'd seen a Lumo on my travels. You'd imagine you would do, wouldn't you? I'm not saying anything. Balls the fun then, doesn't it? Well, absolutely. Did you hear the new subway sim, Hamburg, came out? No, I didn't. Has it come out? God, that's no good. What are you laughing at? <laughs> what? City bus manager. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as, um, as I put the music on for the stream before we, uh, before we joined you all, of course. Uh, I was just humming the uh, did 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 do the the music for City Bus Manager, and now Magic Toe's got it stuck in his head. You won't sleep tonight because of that. Uh, are there Class 91s on Train Sim? Yes, you might see one or two of them today, as it happens. How many trains do Lumo actually have? That is a very good point. I don't know how many they have. Four. Four. <laughs> That. Uh, there you go, there's another debate we can have. <laughs> you can all have a row about that now. How many trains do Lumo have? Joshua Plays says there's ten. Lumo apparently have five according to James UK. Magic Toad's guessing five. I guess four. Did you? Uh, is I that not what I said? I? You said five. Did I? I don't know. All trains have got five. Lumo have five. Lumo apparently have five as well. There you go. 
Yes. It was boiling water in an air fryer. It's Nathan. I think he's commenting in the wrong chat again. We are approaching this red a little bit fast, aren't we? But uh, never mind. Put the anchor on. What happened to 2020? That was three years ago, love. Right, now we've got to be careful because there's a left-hand bend before the next signal. And uh, Nathan says there's... Nathan says there's seven, three and a half in each direction. Is he alright? I don't know, you're feeling alright, love. Uh, are you going to play Peak Forest on Transit World 3? I have no plans to. I don't know anything about the Steam era. I'm not very good <coughs> at driving Steam Trains. So yes, the, ste uh, the Steam Fryer. That's your fault, Nathan. He's going on about this flipping air fryer. I don't know what he's on about. Um, Can you yeah, smell toast? I don't know. I, I think he's feeling unwell. Lumo have five Class 803s. There we go. Not seven, Nathan. I think he's feeling unwell. Mm. Deary me. Yeah, Imran, definitely five. Right, barriers have gone down. Oh, we can actually get into uh, into Doncaster now. The amount of times I've come flying round here and spadded this signal. I'm going sailing through. It's not very nice, is it, putting a signal right after a bend? Right, what time do we get in Doncaster out at 24? Mike, can you play MSTS? Hello, Mike. Nice of you to join us, love. That's a game we've not played as uh, as Tramps in, uh, Tramps in Vienna. Not played that in a while, have we? I always like Tramps in. Just, it'd be nicer if they'd have put a few more routes on it. Yeah. Right, here we go. Oh, what have we got in Doncaster then? It looks to be a 3 2 1 over there. Obviously, uh, I think the 3 2 1s, it's because there's no 3 3 1s, isn't yeah. it? So, whilst I'm aware that some of you will probably point out, oh, there's the, they haven't got any 3-2-1s at Northern anymore. Yeah, that's just standing in for the 3-3-1s, three, because there's, there's no point not having a train there, is there? Got a couple of 170s, look. That'll be a Sheffield, if ever I've seen it. I think he's going as well, by the looks of things. Mm, got a green signal. We have just passed a 180. And yeah, I agree, Imran. We absolutely need a 195 and 331 for train sim. Any route up north now is sort of... I don't know why I'm wiggling the mouse about. I'm getting quite excitable about it. Uh, any up north route is missing 195s now. Right, there we go. First stop, everybody, is Doncaster. There we go. Into neutral. Ooh, where are we? Save it. There we go, just in case. Right, there we go. My apologies. I thought we'd just uh, take the opportunity to nip to the toilet while we're at the station. Seeing as you know, I'm not in the business of pausing, because this is uh, this is about as real as it gets, isn't it? We're uh, on train sim. Guy's got earmuffs on like mine this evening. Right, where were we? Uh, have you seen Magic Toads videos? Yes, I have seen Magic Toads videos. If you like your real life trains. 
you want to check out Magic Toad's videos. They are fantastic. Um, one, the Hope Valley one, we actually went uh, down the Hope Valley. Heck, she's floating. Good Lord. Oh, she's just floated straight into my train. I'm back out again. Oh, she's a poltergeist, that lass. Um, yeah, they're very, very good. Um, Magic Toad is doing... Cause a couple of people had asked me, why don't you go out filming real trains? But I just don't have time to tell you the truth. But Magic Toad absolutely loves it, uh, filming trains. And he's actually very good at it. So, yes, he will be doing the uh, the train side of things. There will be a link to his channel uh, when he posts a link to his channel in the description. Which hey. will be imminently. You love, yeah, come on. Oh, we're talking about you, yeah. Right. Nothing negative. We've been nice about you. Yeah, we're on about your YouTube channel and real life trains. Maybe one day uh, he'll film some Hull trains at Doncaster. You Maybe. never know. Maybe. Uh, TNG TV F1 podcast and vlogs. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Well, and my go, oh, that piece and quiet was glorious. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Right, off we go. Flipping that, that were a, a buzz and a half, wasn't it? Right, where are we going next? So, we're leaving Doncaster. Retford is our next stop. Yeah, it's Retford, Grantham and London, isn't it? No, oh, Nathan's been plane spotting. The Lancaster bomber's just flown directly across the house. As long as it hasn't flown through the house, that's, uh, that's not what you need, is it, on a Tuesday evening? Right, there we go. Done job for me. Oh, has he put the link in? Yes. Why can't I see the link? Because I've just had to um, show it because it, cause it's a link. It's content. Whether I want to hide it or show ah. it. Ah. I'm cl I'm I'm with you. Yeah, there you go. Mike has put the uh, the link to Magic Toad's YouTube in there. Go and check it out. You'll enjoy it. Uh, Jaden, do you already have the new... Oh, hang on, we're speeding. Do you already have the new eBus Co for Bus Simulator 21? Yes, I have done a video on it. Oh, we may as well go. We're practically there, aren't we? Uh, I have already done a video on it. I did that just before the live stream. And... Um, it's that 60 shot off. You are. Did that 60 shoot off. I didn't even see it. Didn't you? No. I'm going fast. You what, sorry? I'm going fast. It was, wasn't it? I, I never clocked it. That'll be round here somewhere. Either that or it's ready to derail and wreck with the uh, scenario. Well, yeah. You can just never be too sure, can you? Hoping it's going to be round here, because if not, we could be in bother. Oh, Philip Radford, just subscribe, Magic Toad. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> He's not used to the fame just yet. <laughs> Uh, yes, flange, 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 screech. Yeah, there'll be a heck of a lot of that going over that uh, that tight junction. Don't worry about it, Connell. You're absolutely fine. Thanks for joining us. Better late than never. Although you have just missed this train at Doncaster. Yeah, that, that Class 60 is not there. Where's it gone? I don't know. Should it be further? Is it further down? No, it's... No idea. Oh no, I hope it doesn't derail. Is there anything path to go over that section um, of track? Is there not? Yeah, this is going to go one or two ways. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, we went in testing, we did have uh, we did have a, uh, the, the Class 60 set off and it was like it was powered by rockets. If you remember for the old MSTS where there was that rocket train yeah. that they used to drive through a route and then crash at high speed and it would fly everywhere. <laughs> there was that guy who made like millions of views doing that on different routes. Um, but yeah, that 60 took off like that and then you passed it back there, but it doesn't seem to be there anymore, so I don't know where it's gone. Maybe editing that 170 that we were having problems with has uh, has changed it. Maybe it's... I don't know. I don't want to say. I have a feeling any minute now we're going to derail. We're only half an hour in. That'd be a short stream, wouldn't it? Connell, yes, you've just missed Doncaster. We're just travelling south of Doncaster now. And our next stop is Retford in just under 15 miles. Nathan says that you need to narrate as well. Oh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> no. And TJ says Magic Toad plus one subscriber. There you go. Thank you very much. 
Maiko, it's a good day for my commission. Say SMR. It's like when it's not really talking into a microphone, don't we? Oh, is it? Yeah, the lights into a microphone. Ah. Uh, video. There you go, Magic Toad. Foxy says, "What kind of content do you make?" So, um, yes. <laughs> just videos of trains passing by. You're gonna need to sell it more than this, love. <laughs> just, just. Terrible video. No, well, you need yeah. to, you need to be more upbeat. <laughs> you know, but me? Yeah. I, try, I can't do everything for you, love. Yes, um, Magic Toad. Yeah, I mentioned it earlier whilst we were at Doncaster. Um, a couple of people had asked me to do train uh, real life train videos, but uh, Magic Toad, I thought it would be nice if he could manage that side of the. Uh, of the channel, so he set up his very own channel, and uh, yeah, me, I will be accompanying Magic Toad hopefully on a couple of his adventures, if I must. Um, but yeah, any sort of train spotting videos that's going to be uh, sort of around that. And, uh, and this weekend, whilst the Eurovision final was on, uh, there was some 47s pootling up and down between Liverpool and Manchester. I don't know if any of you saw those, and uh, yeah, he managed to catch that on video, that one going past a couple of times. So yeah, his latest video is definitely worth checking out. And actually, to say that he's not done a lot of videos, he's pretty good at the editing. What's my editing to shame? I'll tell you that now. Uh, when am I going to drive a 185 in Ram? Well, believe it or not, the 185 is I broken. Say, no, never mind. This never mind. What? Ignore me. Oh, right, okay. Ignore Magic Toad, everybody. Uh, yeah, the, the 185 is currently broken on the Direct X12 update of trains in that I've got. So if you're in notch 1, 2, or 3, there's no engine sounds. It just idles and then when you put it into notch four or five it goes to full revs it's very bizarre it's very strange um but yes yeah, so we're just waiting on an update for that i don't know if anyone else has had the issues but uh, but yeah i do love the 185 absolutely love the 185 but uh, i thought we'd just wait for that maybe we'll do because uh, there's, there's talks of merged routes at some point other merged routes Maybe one day we'll get a merge route of Liverpool through to Newcastle and we can drive that on a stream all the way in one go. <laughs> train Guy Car M, uh, Train Guy Car Guy M, waves at Train Madly in the hope it will honk. There you go. Oh, we got a little too. Can barely hear Magic Toad in the background. Magic Toad is actually sat on the computer next to me. It's like we're in an office. Um, <laughs> sat in a line. Um, yeah, I told you, love, lean over when you wanted to hook. Right. You didn't lean over then. Right. There we go, <laughs> that's better. Mike Ray, hiya. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Uh, Philip Radford, is your train sim classic free of bugs at the moment then? Uh, sadly not. There are still the odd little, uh, the odd little bug hiding about. But hopefully, touch wood, we're going to get all the way to London with no bugs. Peter, when is the next preserved bus adventure? Well, unfortunately, there's not been a lot happening with the buses at the moment. There's been some uh, some problems with the Eclipse, a couple of electrical problems, and it's MOT run out. Run out? Ran out. I'm going to say it runs out, but it has ran out now. Uh, so we need to get that sorted, and it's just a case of money. Uh, the Renown is waiting to go for the work still. Uh, the chaps who were meant to do the work keep letting me down and uh, the chaps that were meant to do the, rena the Renown work are also the chaps that would do the MOT on the Eclipse so uh, if they've not taken the Renown yet I don't think they'd be taking the Eclipse it's, it is infuriating, it's really infuriating but unfortunately there's not a lot we can do uh, Mike Ray, I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm good I'm enjoying my train this evening and uh, yeah, it's a good run so far what have we got coming the other way here? ah, there you go Emily, 91 an LNER branded 91 Lovely. Jaden, is it worth buying bus sim with the eBusco Man Iveco and VDL bus packs? No, I wouldn't bother. Uh, if I were you and I wanted a good bus sim, I would go for OMSI. Uh, the bus is also quite good. It's not quite as realistic as OMSI, 
but Bus Simulator 21 would be the bottom of my list of bus simulators. Uh, I'm quite confident in my uh, appraisal of Bus Simulator 21. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you will know it's not my favourite game in the world. The new update is uh, certainly interesting. I won't bore you with the details, but uh, yeah, it's certainly interesting to say the least. I have done a video on it and it will be out tomorrow, so make sure you keep up. Uh, keep up to date with the channel for that. Which unit have we got? We've got 802-303 and 304 on the back for a 10 car today. Oh, oh no. no! Oh, disaster! Oh, no. oh my lord! You see, this is why we don't look outside the train, people. Right, we shall be back in a oh, moment. No. Do you know what? I am absolutely blaming our gaming for that. Back soon! There we go, as if by magic we're back in <laughs> Doncaster now. Oh, we've just been here. We've, uh, we've done a return yeah, trip. We've done a return trip because Connor missed the train, so uh, <laughs> we've, we've come back to get him. Um, <laughs> oh no, yeah, it's so annoying because uh, we were just saying, uh, Magic Toes just said to me, how many times have I done this scenario? I've driven to London about three or four times now. And it's worked every single time. The one time we do it on a live stream and, uh, and it, it doesn't work. So yeah, no more external shots of the, uh, of the train now. Oh, it's this woman again that's about to walk through my train. Excuse me. Can you get out? Oh, just get this is your cab. Can't come in here. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? Train sim is uh, <laughs> it's certainly a, uh, an interesting, an interesting thing. And, uh, yeah, I guess a game just found that class 60 that went flying. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? Train sim is a, uh, it's somewhat unpredictable. Uh, it can be, it can be really, really good can train sim classic, but at the same time it can be massively unstable. Uh, it's Sam Plays. At this rate, we're not going to get to London until about half past 11 this evening. Uh, the route is, um, the route is... Two hours and ten minutes in length. Well, it's in length. No, <laughs> that's, that's a length of time in it, not a length of distance. Uh, I don't know how long the actual route is from Selby to London Kings Cross, but uh, I won't want to walk it. Let's put it that way. Imran, yeah, what a disaster. And uh, Mike Ray, it reminds me of Omsi. Ah, gaming, without looking outside, what unit do you think you have? I know for a fact, because we had a look earlier in the stream, we have got 802303 and 802304 on the back. As you can see from the bottom here, without looking, it is a 10 car this afternoon, uh, this morning even, 9.24 in the morning. We managed Selby to Doncaster in all fairness. That's an achievement in my book. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, are we doing the whole route? We are trying to. We're going to attempt to. Yeah, we are, we are attempting to do the whole route. We've just suffered a minor setback betwixt Doncaster and Retford. 
Oh dear, do we stop in Newark this evening? I mean, we might crash in Newark, but uh, yeah, we're not timetabled to stop in Newark. We might have a crash to death stop. Oh dear, yeah, Doncaster, Retford, Grantham and King's Cross today. Right. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, are we ready? Let's guard on the buzzer. 180 miles. 180 miles, there you go. Hundred Where's the guard and the buzzer? Have we got no buzzer? Are we? Yeah, we're on guard yeah, upgrade. Oh, hang on, I've, I've taken it out of doodah now. Well, the good news is, everybody, that the Class 60s made a reappearance. There you go, the 60s back. <laughs> Don't know where it was last time. Maybe it was just a gangway. Hang on, why are we slowing down? Oh, because I've got selected speed at zero. There we go. <laughs> I thought I'd set it to 25. This is a disaster, isn't it? Oh, dear me. Right, we're off. Technical issues planned at Newark Northgate. No, Nathan, we're having no more technical issues now. We've had enough for one stream. Although, like I say, the good news is the Class 60 is back, everybody. You can see that Colas Rail class, was, uh, class 60. Did I say 160? I don't know. I don't know. No, oh, it makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Yeah, take two. We're off. Yeah, we are playing on the DirectX 12 uh, version of this and not the DirectX 11. But, I mean, a lot of people have said the DirectX 12 is rather unstable. I haven't noticed it any more unstable than the normal version of Train Sim. I mean, <laughs> well, see, I've, I've had nothing but issues, have I? Have you been playing on DirectX 12? I've been playing whatever I can get to work. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, have you been on DirectX 11 when you were? I don't know what I've been on. Because it was quite interesting, because Magic Toad made this scenario for me, and it worked an absolute dream. And then we came across a couple of little things that needed changing and uh, that just needed tweaking to make the player experience a little bit better. And then he couldn't load the scenario again. Every time he loaded the scenario on his PC, it crashed. Give him a little toot as we go past. Yeah, it crashed on his PC and he's actually had to come round. This is why he's here with us tonight, because he's had to come round to my house to, uh, to, to do and to basically fix the scenario for the live stream. It's ridiculous how, uh, how Trainsim works. Uh, who's with me today? It's Magic Toad that's sat with us, the author of this scenario. Hello. And, uh, yes, hello. hello. And, uh, yeah, he's the author of this scenario, the founder of Magic Toad Scenarios, .co.uk. I don't know if that's the website, but... Uh, it is .co.uk. Is it .co.uk? Yeah. Isn't it dot .shopify or something? The, yeah, that one is after yeah. that change. Just yeah. Before. Imran, Hull Trains apologise for this delay. Yeah, they do, absolutely. But I don't know how far behind schedule we are now, to be honest with you. Now well, we're on time. Oh, yeah, look, bottom <laughs> left, we're bang on time. <laughs> oh, dear. Mike Ray says that he hopes you're well. Oh, I'm living the dream. Uh, Busman, if you don't mind me asking what do you do for a living, I am a train conductor. The people that come up and down asking for fares and uh, dispatching trains. It's good fun. It's good fun. Definitely enjoy it. Maybe one day I might be a train driver, though. To be fair, watching some of these streams, I, I can't blame you for uh, thinking, oh, good lord, hopefully not. There you go. Mike has shared a link to Magic Toad's YouTube channel. Make sure you uh, you pop over there and have a look at some of his train sim videos. Train sim videos? Real life train videos. Not simulators, real life. Working on autopilot this evening, I tell you. Hey, this would be good. Hopefully, you'll get a few more subscribers from uh, for your channel. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Hello, hello. I'm very well. How are you, James? And error C R E. It's Sam players. Have you met any Dodgers? Not no, tonight. Not the first time. <laughs> what did you think he said? Have you met? 
<laughs> this is Magic Toad here thinking that Sam plays us. Have you met any doggers? <laughs> I think was uh, was what you was what you read. Put your glasses on. <laughs> you can just, just see a blur. No, have you met any Dodgers? Uh, certainly not tonight, it's Sam Plays. Uh, there's none in the cab with us tonight. Nathan Jordan, better get commission for that. Absolutely, Nathan. Right, what have we got here? We've got a Hitachi coming the other way. I think we've seen that one before. Have we seen that one I before? Think so. I think we've might have done. We've not seen the 91 yet, have we? <laughs> it's the first 91 we see on the stream as well, isn't it? So should we act surprised again? Oh dear me. Connell Platts, I'll never get on a train regardless of the talk if you're driving it, no offence. Do you know what Connell, I, yeah, I can't blame you for that, can I? Although hopefully in real life we won't have a crash to desktop. Just appear back in mess room. Oh, you'd be mortified, yeah. wouldn't you? Right, let's nip down to 110 miles an hour. Alexander Hughes is doing some livery designs at Trends in World 3. See, I quite like some of the things on Trends in World 3, but then there's so many other things that it just that just lets it down. Tango, I do have to say on this route in real life, the seats in the waiting rooms are like sitting on church pews, the thinnest and most uncomfortable seats I've ever sat on. Well, I mean... <laughs> oh Nathan Jordan, Mike's own brand, we've had to make a cutback. Uh, no, hang on. What what have you put? Just kind of saying that the word commission messes well with. Oh, I'm oh, with I you. Harry Bowers in uh, Harry Bowers tank plastics. I'm with you. It's a bit of a Joshua Cumbers, I am very very well. How are you? How are you this evening? Uh, Magic Toad, just a question. How much is the scenario because of the trains and the maps? Um, well, the the scenario is a pound. Go on then. Out of all the requirements, add up how much it would cost to, uh, if you weren't a train sim owner, how much it would cost you to play this. From buying train sim and buying all the add-ons, that'll keep you busy for uh, a good 25 minutes. Well, we've established my UGC skills as far today, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll start with a pound for scenario. £19.99 for Trainsome Classic, is that how much it is? Uh, Tate McIlroy. Where have we stopped so far? We started at Selby today. Obviously, we're lacking a uh, hull, aren't we, on this so far. We've stopped at Doncaster, and now we're on our way to Retford. We're going to be calling up Retford, Grantham, and London at King's Cross. Nathan Lowe, Magic Toe, pleased to do some liveries of BR train to Steam and Joe. Are you doing some liveries for the Steam trains? I'm with you. I'm with you. Somebody did a Steam trend, didn't they, and painted it all in luminous pink. I don't get why you'd yeah. do that. There's some strange, strange, quirky liveries out there, isn't there? No. So the thing with trends in world is it's a little bit far fetched, isn't it? Like you can have. You know, as this, the scenarios are all sort of based on realistic. But then I, I guess, oh look, there's a 91 coming. Wow! We've definitely not seen that already today. I love how the same woman, you could see her flashing past in all the carriages that were the same. All the standard class carriages of the same woman in the same seat. Damien, have you seen the new Bus Sim 21 update? Yes, I have done a video on it as it happens, just before the stream today. And uh, it will be previewing later this evening for Joe Plus members. I don't know if I put a link in the description where you could join Joe Plus if you wanted to. Uh, but there's, yeah, there's going to be a link in the description for Joe Plus members. Uh, hang on, no, a link in the description where you can join Joe Plus. And uh, yeah, for Joe Plus members, there will be, uh, you'll be able to view that tonight, and for anyone who's not a Joe Plus member, that will be available to view tomorrow at around lunchtime, roughly. 
Ah, gaming. Hey, Joe, what's the units? I'm not falling for that again. We're not moving outside the cab again now. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, 802-303-802-304. And you can see it's a 10 car by looking on the menu at the bottom. Let's just establish this a lot. What, to, to buy the scenario if you didn't have Trenton? Yes. It would be over £100, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm already over 100 now. Um, yeah. The thing with Trenton DLC is it's like 25 quid, isn't it? For any route, it's tw it's twelve ninety nine for a train. So by the time you factor in all the trains we've seen so far, that's a hell of a lot of uh, it's a hell of a lot of money, isn't it? But, uh, luckily, it didn't cost me too much. I think I needed to buy the class sixty. I don't think I had the class sixty. It was brilliant, wasn't it? It was worth all the entertainment. Yeah. I've just realised I don't think we're stopping at this rate at Redford. Oh God! Get it in full service. <laughs> Billy Fry, good evening. Welcome to our stream, Billy. We're just approaching Redford. A hell of a rate of knots. I don't think you're allowed to come into Redford in full service. I think uh, Hull Trains would be a little bit cross. Well, that's better to work for a certain company. Well, yeah, absolutely. Nathan Jordan. Oh, but Joe, everyone wants to see the outside of the train. Well, everyone can flipping well lump it. <laughs> Not until we've saved at Redford, anyway. When, when we've saved the game at Redford... We'll look outside the train again for everybody. And then if it dumps, it doesn't matter, does it, if it crashes. Uh, James Anthony, what's happening with your B10? Uh, nothing. <laughs> it's, it's the short answer to that. Uh, the chap who's meant to be coming and taking it away to do some work keeps letting me down. So, yeah, at this moment in time, nothing is happening with the B10. Uh, otherwise, we would, of course, have done some videos. Damien, I know how you can make it not crash. You have to hover your hand over the Alt key and hold it down and then press F4. Oh, you must have thought that I came down with the last shower, Damien. And at every branch on the way down. Well, I mean, looking at you. <laughs> You're not nice. Those who live in glass houses shouldn't be throwing stones, really, should they? <laughs> I thought he was going to swear as well, Nathan. I, I did worry for a moment. Right. Doors are open. Simulation is saved. We're looking outside. Ah, oh, look at that, the outside of the train. Isn't that nice? We'll just save it again, just in case it hasn't saved properly the first time round. Yes, here we are in Retford. Welcome to Retford, according to the sign. Absolutely not, Nathan. I'm better than this. Uh, better than that. Imran, I booked Keithley Diesel Gala and there's some cool trains coming. 43, 20, 50, 37 and lots of diesels. Hopefully, a 142 or a 144. That'd be nice at the Diesel Gala, wouldn't it? A nice little pacer. I'm a lover of the pacer trains. Uh, again, Joshua Cumbers, B7 hourly, waiting for it to go for its MOT. Uh, it needs an MOT. And unfortunately, there's just a backlog. So, yeah, the, the, MO, uh, the, the MOT's off-road. The B7 is currently off-road uh, at this moment in time. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> Our gaming, absolutely beautiful. They are a really good-looking fleet of trains, aren't they, the, uh, the Hull Paragon fleet? It's a shame that, uh, that companies like Transpennine didn't keep the, you know, the livery that they had on the 185s before that was very similar to this, like the, the blue fade with the pink doors and, uh, and the, the dynamic lines on the side. I think that would have really, really suited this fleet of 802s. Mm. I think they'd have looked good. Wouldn't have suited the Mark 5s. I don't know. It depends, like, even if they didn't have the yellow front on the Dynamic Lines livery, if they'd have had the black front like this. I think that... for Klaus. Yeah. Klaus, if you're watching. Yeah. Mr. Klaus. Uh, yeah. Dynamic Lines, like the old Transpedine Express livery, but with a black front on an 802. I, th I think that'd look good. I really do think that'd look good. James Anthony, how many cars are on this? We have ten cars on this service, James. We're a double set, because it's the King's coronation today. I know it's not, but uh, but but it is on Drain Sim. Funnily enough, I've just had a look, and Alpha 92 today was formed with 10 carriages as well. Was it? Yeah. I reckon it's going to often be a 10 carriage set. It may well be, yeah. Mm. 
Imran says he misses the old livery. And do you know what, Imran? I absolutely agree. I thought it was good. I think the new... I said the new livery. It's been there since 2016, hasn't it? Um, it's that, that new... It's the old. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's part of the furniture now, isn't it? I think it looks good. I really do think it looks good. I think it looks fantastic on, uh, on the new fleet in particular. But I, I just... I like the old livery as well, but without seeing the old livery on the new fleet, it's hard to, to say which would look best. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a difficult one. TJ, I'm not from Pacer territory, and I'm glad. Ooh, no, Pacers were fantastic. Cheap and cheerful. Yeah, absolutely, cheap and cheerful. Yeah, it was one of those that, like, they just sort of reminded you to be grateful for everything you had in life. You know, you, you got on a pacer, <laughs> you got home to comfort and warmth and, you know, water not coming through the ceiling. And, uh, you know, it, it's, yeah, it just reminds you. Reminds you that you should just be grateful for the things you do have in life when you got on a 142. I thought they were fantastic. I really enjoyed working them back in the day. Connell Platts, think I'm going to do Virgin Class 90 with Mark 3s and DVTs from Houston to New Street while you're doing this. Absolutely. I was going to say we'll have a race, but I mean, you'll probably get there before us. Probably get there quicker. Foxy, I like the design of the Pacers. It's very unique. Well, it's certainly very functional and uh, square and <laughs> boxy. <laughs> It's almost quite communist in its design. It's brilliant. Oh, we've lost Magic Dirt. I think he's just spat his drink back into his bottle. Oh, he's gone. We're all right. Are we all right? There we go. Paces in the winter, all the windows were covered in mist. I know, it was brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Bone dry outside. We can get <laughs> Yeah, it's like you've been sat in a sauna. <laughs> Oh dear. Train guy, you should ask the train company you work for if you could film a shift of you guarding. But do you know what? That that would be great fun, wouldn't it? It'd be good content. It'd be certainly good fun. Uh, I don't know if they'd take me up on that, but I could certainly ask the question. Um, and uh, yes, thank you for getting to 20k subscribers. It's very kind of you. Uh, flipping out, we've been going an hour and we've only done 42 minutes. Oh. So we're 20 minutes behind schedule, aren't we, at this rate? <laughs> oh dearie me. Um, no, one, one does not disclose the company one works for. We, we keep working uh, YouTube a, a little bit separate, or as separate as we can do anyway. Imran, I wonder why Armstrong Powerhouse have taken 142s off their start. I know. I know it's a little bit suspect, isn't it? I'm really, really hoping that they'll, uh, that they'll do an enhancement pack for the 142. I, I can, it's not the strangest thing that had ever happened, is it? Yeah. I'm really, really hoping they do a 142 enhancement pack. That whenever you go around the slightest radius of corner, it's, it's just fine. howling in pain from all the flange, from the single wheel bogies. Brilliant. My dad literally rejoices that the Pacers were not introduced in Scotland. I know, I know. I, I, it's, people hated the Pacers. I never really understood why. I mean, I guess if you're paying like £300 for a season ticket and that was what you were getting on, I could understand you being a bit miffed, but they were, they were fantastic from a spotter point of view. I thought they were fantastic. Stephen Kendall, not going to lie, I lived down in Devon and the Pacers were possibly the single worst piece of machinery that man had ever created. <laughs> well, I think that's a bit extreme. Are you not a fan, Stephen? No. Uh, no, Nathan, Magic Toad is not drinking wine from the bottle again. Uh, yeah, we've not got any wine in the house to, so as to avoid a, a wine-related mishap on stream. Mike can confirm there is a new 142 coming or an enhancement pack. Fantastic, that's what we like. See, it's good having Mike here. He gets all the gossip. He always tells me what's going on. Usually I'm the last to know everything. What's my favourite game of all time? I don't know, actually. I think it's a toss-up between... Microsoft Flight Simulator, Train Sim Classic, OMSI, 
Every or or Transport like Fever that. 2. No, no, that's, that's, that's narrowed it down from quite a lot of games we play on this channel. Uh, oh, that's very kind of you, Imran. Yes, absolutely. It's a secret we'll have to take to the grave. Class 144003 in Ruddington, in Nottingham. Where's that? Well, I know it's not enough. Not <laughs> yeah, I did, what he's just said. Uh, but is, is that a heritage railway, I wonder? Ruddington? I don't yes. know. Ruddington. Nathan Jordan, I've heard the co op deliver. <laughs> oh no, not while we're driving. Great Central Railway. Wow! Oh yeah, Open TTD is fantastic as well. I know it's simple, but uh, the graphics are quite simple, but I love it. I think it's brilliant. The Great Central Railway. Have they got a class 144? That is brilliant. We might have to go for a trip. We might have to go for a trip. In fact, um, Simon's sister doesn't live too far from the Great Central Railway, so we could factor it in as a family visit. Excellent. When really, we're just going to see the 144. They don't seem to... <laughs> They've got a railway, but according to their website, they haven't got any trains. Oh, but whizzing along, aren't we? You're flying. I know. Thought the Great Central was in Leicester. Well, Leicester, Nottingham, it's all the Midlands, isn't it? Ah, you see, this is going to spark another debate in the chat. Who doesn't love a good 142? Well, this is it. I, I was always a fan, personally. But then again, maybe I've just got very low standards. And there you go, yeah, there, there are pictures online. Class 144 Pace are heading to the Great Central Railway in Nottingham. Oh, the, the 144s in particular. They're just adorable, aren't they? They're really adorable little trains. I used to love them. And no, South Western Railway are replacing the Class 701. No, they're not. They're replacing the 455 with the 701 <laughs> in future. Heck, Nathan's invited himself on our little trip. Foxy, imagine a 10 car pacer. I, I think I've seen an 8 car. Um, well, they used to come off Neville Hill. Was I was going to say they used to come off Neville Hill all stuck together, didn't they? And then they'd split and some would go one way, some would go the other way. I mean, yeah, they did, didn't they? There used to be a few of them banged together. You can probably find a picture of them online, to be honest with you. Oh, you were a fan, Imran. He loves the pacer. Nathan, it's round the corner. Yeah, it's not too far from where you live, is it? Train Guy Car Guy M. Also, don't know if you have heard, there's a company trialling a new track cleaning system on a pacer at a heritage railway. Also, YouTuber Train Spotting Mayhem got to drive a 142. Oh, wow, that'd be awesome. Very jealous. I know, Mike, I'm reading the chat. I'm reading the chat. He says, so poor old dear with a large dog has been squished like a fly because Joe's missing all the whistle boards. I'm trying to keep an eye on it. I'm trying to. Trying to. Uh, yeah, trying to keep an eye on it. What's your favourite train? Ooh, I don't know actually, there's so many to choose from. I think definitely it's between the class 185 and the class 158. It's one of the two, innit? Getting a bit warm, love. Hey, Satsumo going the other way. Jeff Evening Star liked seeing the 142s, but when I got the chance to ride on one, I never really enjoyed it. Then again, it did have football fans on. Oh yeah, I imagine it was quite loud then. It's uh, yeah, it can be quite loud, can't it? Nathan, it's these flipping electric trains. You can't hear them. Yeah, exactly. Like electric cars, isn't it? In fact, our neighbour has just got an electric car. And when uh, when she reverses, it beeps like a bus. 
It has the beep, 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 because it's so quiet. Yeah, she gets the full on, uh, full on alarm going backwards. Dear, dear me. Oh, we can't be far from Newark Northgate now, can we? If we've got to slam on for a hundred. We are speeding a little bit, but you know, what's three mile an hour between friends? Over the crossover. What's my favourite high speed train? Ooh, it has to be the Class 91. Love the Class 91. Which is why I'm quite happy that there's uh, there's a few of these. A few 91s still kicking about on the East Coast. It's nice to see them. I'd like to go all the way down to London on one of them. We need to sort of plan a trip. We could go that way in September. September? Yeah. What's happening? Oh, yeah, we were planning on doing a little trip, weren't we? No, I don't think she's got a Kia Nero. Uh, I think it's a Hyundai. It's a Hyundai. Yeah, it's a Hyundai thing. Quite a nice car, actually. Oh, what have we got? Speaking of 91s, coming the other way now. Tango. I do personally think the 195 train gets a lot of hate that's unjust. Just don't ever travel on the Leeds to York route on them as it completely destroys my argument. Are they not good on Leeds to York? I don't mind them. No? Don't mind them. What is it, Tango, about the Leeds to York route that destroys your argument? Why are they different on other routes compared to Leeds to York? I mean, it's, it's the only place in the East that can get them to Well, yeah, probably. Maybe that's why. Maybe. Maybe. You just never know. There is Imran. There is now a crossover that's gone in at Batley. There's a lot of changes in the coming to uh, coming to that network. TJ's been on 91s and they are awesome. They absolutely are TJ, they're fantastic. Just past Newark Northgate, absolutely, that's what the Diamond Crossover was. It's a Diamond Cross, it's not a crossover, is it? It's a crossing. Diamond Crossing. You are? Flat Crossing. Ever since I first heard you say Satsuma, that's the only thing I call the Azumas now. It's the same with flipping Nora. Well, we should change it. Obviously, the Azuma is Satsuma, and TPE's Nova could be the, the flipping no, flipping Nora. It could be it. Oh, it's a flipping Nora. As long as it's not Norovirus, because that's another thing altogether, isn't it? Nobody wants one of them. 195 Thrash on the Leeds Yacht with 5-speed gearbox. Don't get me started. That's Joe Dobson. Ooh, Imran is either a fan or absolutely hates it. It's one of them, isn't it? We're not quite sure what it's going to be. Like the superpower balls kick down. Yeah. Newark does have two stations. Yeah, Newark Northgate and Newark Castle. Never been to Newark Castle. Is there a lot to write home about? It's on the Lincoln line, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. What's your favourite train between a class 334 and a class 333? It'd be a triple three every day of the week. The 334s, I hated when I went on one of them. I thought there was... Scott yeah, yeah, there's junipers. I've not liked any of the juniper family, to be honest with you. I've, I've thought they've all looked quite awful. Yeah, I've never been a fan of the juniper sets. I, I like the um, the Gatwick Express ones. I thought they were quite nice, but at the same time, they didn't look good. They, they looked flipping awful. And did you see a picture of one with that its nose cone on? Yeah. Oh, it were weird. It had like all wires and pipes hanging down. It was like one of these really old, like class four two ones or a four one four or one of them. Yeah, I wasn't a fan. Oh, Imran loves them. He loves a one nine five. DJ says, thinks the N91s are staying with LNER until 2025. Oh no, that means that won't be long until they go. That will be a sad day. That really will be a sad day. See, my sort of earliest memories were when the Pendolinos were brand new on the East, on, on the East Coast. On the West Coast, 
Pendolinos and Voyagers were just brand new at the time. And uh, so the East Coast at the time was GNER. So it was GNER on the East Coast with 91s and HSTs and the odd class 90. And if you were really lucky, a 373. You used to get a little cheeky Eurostar. Uh, I never saw one of them. Well, I never saw that one. That was the only one. It was the only one, yeah. But I never saw it in, uh, in passenger service. But that was it. It was always GNER on the East Coast, Virgin Trains with the posh new Pendolinos and Voyagers on the West Coast. So for me, like, it's sad the HSTs have gone, but when the 91s go, that will be like, oh, all right. It will be a sad day in run. I absolutely agree with you, love. time are we into Grand from 10 o'clock no we're not 9.59 and at this moment in time we're due in at 9.58 and just north of Grantham you'll see some floating foliage it's about three and a half miles north of Grantham I've got to point it out I uh, I pointed it out in the Ella Thompson sim chat uh, with a couple of that there you go speaking of floating foliage oh my god the sim's gonna crash look at the floating tree uh, hedgerow up there brilliant yeah, I pointed it out. They said they were on with uh, with sorting that out. This is where it crashes just to spite me because I've been mean. But yeah, it really made me chuckle when there's just a random hedgerow floating in the sky. Hopefully they'll preserve a Class 91 or two. Absolutely. I would like them to preserve Class 91 127. That's my favourite 91 of all time. Harking back to the GNER days, where it was called Edinburgh Castle. I thought it was such a fantastic name for uh, for the set, for the loco. Just Edinburgh Castle, brilliant. It's, yeah, that's my sole reason for loving it. I just thought it was such a smart name. Oh, Joshua plays us off. Thanks for joining us, Joshua. And uh, I hope you have a lovely evening. What about when 185s go? I know him, Ram. We'll all be heartbroken. We'll have to hold a two minute silence, won't we, on the, on the day one's withdrawn? We're not far from Grantham now. God, I can't believe it. We've driven all the way from Selby to Grantham. It's nuts, isn't it? It's such a long distance. There we go. We'll pop it in 50%. Northern Transport Adventures, how much did all the requirements cost you? Well, the thing is, uh, I have built this up over quite a few many years, and I would hate to actually turn around and have a look at how much money I've spent on trends and DLCs over the years. Flipping it, we're uh, a third of a mile from Grantham and still doing 70 miles an hour. It's not speeding, it's just efficient driving. There you go, that's what it is. Oh, there looks to be some sort of local unit in. There we go, we'll, uh, we'll ease off a little bit. I like how when it comes to station stops, you stop watching the stream on your screen and, uh, and start watching the live thing on my screen. 158 over there, lovely. Again, never really been a fan of the, uh, of the East Midlands Railway livery in comparison. I thought East Midlands trains were just so much nicer. It was so much bright and vibrant, wasn't it? Absolutely. Well, fingers crossed for you, Imran. Absolutely, absolutely. Did I ever like the old 442s and 313s? I like the 313s. Never too keen on the 442s. I don't know why. I have no reason not to like them. I just wasn't that keen. There we go. Save. Save at Grantham.
Right, there we go. I am back. I thought it was a good chance to, uh, a good opportunity to go for a tactical Wii. Uh, because, obviously, leaving Grantham now, it's next stop London King's Cross, which is an hour and ten minutes away. And that is a long time to go if, you, uh, if you've got a nervous bladder, like I do. Um, so I thought what we'd do, setting off now from Grantham, obviously we have saved, just in case it all goes down the pan later on in the journey. I think when we're hurtling through Peterborough, what are you looking at me like this for? What? You're looking at me like this. <laughs> it's just not a good look. I'm just listening to what you're saying. Yeah, oh right, okay, okay. Um. <laughs> can you stop? <laughs> right then, I'll sit this way. Get to can you just leave the premises, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, what I thought we'd do is when we're blasting through Peterborough, we'll save. Right. Because that's quite a way away. Grantham to London. Could you imagine if it crashed at Finsbury Park oh, and we had to do it all again? So I thought we'd save at Peterborough, we'd save at Stevenage, and then we'll save at London. <coughs> right, off we go. Full steam ahead. Yeah, this and everything that East, East Midlands trains used to run. East Midlands Railway now runs. Stations, not stock, obviously, but... Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, I did know Nathan about Bus Simulator Next out. Uh, did you know Bus Simulator? Oh yeah, the Next is out. Yes, it is out. I have already done a video on it. It will be available to Joe Plus members later on tonight after the stream. And uh, it will be available to non-Joe Plus members tomorrow. Mmm, yes. What if you're just outside Gasworks Tunnel and the game crashes? Uh, then I shall throw myself out of the upstairs window. Oh no, we've just. He's, uh, Simon's just spread the patio, hasn't he? He's just yeah. uh, jet washed it down. Oh, here we go. As you transfer to the control of Peterborough PSB, you may receive flashing green aspects. If this is the case, you are not permitted to exceed 125 miles an hour, as it's no longer a method of work. Of course, the flashing green aspects. I don't believe they'll be still there now, will they? It'll just be a thing of the route. Um, Apparently, the signals are still fitted. To flash, to flash, but they just don't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, originally, when the 91s were new, they did plan to do 140 mile an hour on specific sections of the East Coast Main Line, and it never came to fruition, which is a bit of a shame, really, isn't it? Scott Rail do not have 365s. They used to. They don't have 365s anymore. It's a shame they, they, did they scrap them in the end or are they still in storage? They're all still a crew, a lot of them. Are they? Yeah. It's a shame they never did anything with them. They're fantastic. They're storing them for ERTMS upgrades, aren't they? For oh, I don't know. ERTMS or something like that. Hmm. Mike says we still have active flashing green signals. There you go. That's from a real life train driver. You heard it there first, folks. Apparently there are still... Alleged train well, yeah, alleged train driver. We've never seen him drive trains, but he claims to. But he says the flashing green signals do still work. And yeah, absolutely Imran. 185s can't go until they get something three car for the leads to Huddersfield. Stop us. I think they'd be brilliant just um, if uh, if Transpennine got a load of 158s off Northern that they ran as four cars for the stoppers. Because then you wouldn't have to have long train short platform. Oh, Magic Toad likes his 158s uh, over on his Northern services because Magic Toad does live on, uh, on a route where Northern operate 158s. Yeah, scowling. No, will not take my uh, my 158s off of me. But yeah, I think it would make sense for the leads to Huddersfield. It'd only be four units they'd have to borrow every day, but it'd mean that the guards could do the doors from every door on the stopper, and they're all four cars, so you don't have the six cars on short platforms. In theory, it works. There's probably a reason why it wouldn't work, but it's... Uh, Oh, L. Klaus is here. Hello, hello. Uh, mostly scrapped, I believe, the 365s. That's a shame. Could you imagine having to scrap that? You look so happy while you were scrapping it. I love the 365. I genuinely feel really sad that they're not. And they're perfectly good units. This is the thing. They are perfectly fine. And they're all getting scrapped. When you look at other countries like Poland... Germany, Czech Republic, you know, they've all got this old stock that they've 
revitalised and brought new life to. And over here, our ancestors just chuck it all in the bin. Can you imagine three six fives with like new traction motors, a little bit of an overall. Well, there you go, Jeff Evening Star. Same thing. It's a shame that the three seven nines are all going into storage after only ten years of service. I mean, where are they going to go? They're the Great Wrangler. Yeah, they're the Great Wrangler Stansted Express ones, aren't they? I thought they were going to Great Northern. But what a great northern replacing now. Just making them longer. Yeah. So they're all 12 cars, yeah, maybe. It is sort of one of them, isn't it? You you know, like... Well, no, because they used the Gatwick Express ones for a while, didn't they? But now I think they've gone back. So they're going to take the 379s. To use them on. Yeah. yeah. That would make sense. Cameron Law says he's heard a, uh, a lot of 365 suffered with corrosion rotting by the end of it. It's a shame, actually. It's a shame. Well, it's like the 332s, isn't it? Yeah, again, 332s have scrapped. And they're what? Early 2000s? Yeah. It's mental. Mental. We've still got the triple threes running around at Northern, though. Trusty triple threes. Right, we're blasting along now. It's just less than 100 miles to London. 97 miles to go, people. We're due there in just over an hour. The stream's 1 hour and 23 so far. So, uh, yeah, we're doing well. Tango, they get rid of good trains, yet they keep 150s and they're well past their sell-by date. I mean, to be fair, the 150s, again, there's, there's nothing wrong with them, really. Providing that they're structurally substantial, you know, it's like, you know, the, the 319's okay compared to a 331, they're not as modern inside, but I mean, they still work, because Northern have got them, haven't they? The, you know, the, the 319's are a little bit slower, but it, you know, it's an electric train, it's warm inside usually on 319's, or the ones I've been on have been quite warm. You know, it just, yeah, it just seems a shame to get rid of them. Uh, Imran, I bet Magic Toad hates the hybrid class 158s with Great West. I don't know if he does, but I certainly do. And I, the, the Northern 150s where they've got a 150 truck, two carriage in the middle. Oh, no, it's not good. I, I really don't like it. No, 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 no. I don't mind double sets, but they're, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan. Uh, I mean, he's coming back now. It's all right when you're not driving. You can nip off to the loo whenever. Um, Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> um, what now? <laughs> oh, what fresh hell is this? <laughs> um, no, the, uh, the the 158 hybrid things that they've got down at Great Western. What are your thoughts? I don't mind them. No, ah, there you go. Imran thought that you'd hate them. No, I don't mind them. No, it's me that hates them. I'm not a fan. Yeah, definitely not a fan, I'm afraid. Foxy, have you heard about the 50,000 series VSE? It's a Japanese train that's been taken out of service even though it looks very modern. I mean, to be fair, look at uh, Southwest Railway that took the 707s out of service before they'd even come into service. They hadn't started in service before Southwest Railway decided they were taking them out of service, didn't they? And, uh, and they're all going over to Southeastern now. I imagine they'd have been, uh, been there already if the adventure 701s weren't delayed. El Clowes, more hybrid 158s to come. Should be three car hybrids on the Liverpool Norwich with two car. Where are we? With a two car tagged on the Nottingham at Liverpool. So there'd be five cars. I'm with you if things go to plan. Well, do you know what? Hopefully things won't go to plan. Won't. Yeah, won't go to plan. Right. We don't like those hybrid 158s. A four car's enough for anyone. It shouldn't be greedy. Five is a long way. Five is a long way, because when you think, if you were checking tickets on a five car, you've got five carriages from the back to the front, and then another five carriages from the front to the back, that's ten carriages. That's a long way. What about 12 car or 50? What I tell you the day was just shy of a mile, didn't you? Yeah. 
Although it won't because I messed it up. I looked at the distance of A class 450 and then times that by 12. So that'd be like having a 48 carriage 450. Oh, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was me that got that wrong. 91 going past. Well, hey, your arms in the air like you just don't care. Love a 91. DRS class 37 went past my house today, but not on real time trains. Ooh, it's a secret one in red. Wonder what that was doing out and about. Atlantic Jet, just come back. What have I missed? Nothing much, to be honest, with the Atlantic Jet. I don't know what time you went away, so uh, we have stopped at Grantham and we are now right away through to London King's Cross. We'll be going through Peterborough shortly. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's a very busy route, the Hope Valley, isn't it? Very pretty. Very busy. I don't know what the answer is, like more trains down it? I mean, with it being, uh, with it being absolute block signalling down the Hope Valley and, uh, and Semaphore, I don't know how it would work with squashing more trains down there. Is it already at capacity? I'm not too sure. Stephen Kendall says, did you hear about that 6 car 150 from Reading? It's been a 6 car 150 in Reading. What's that? I don't know. Oh, Reading passengers would be furious. I know they ran a 4 car from Exeter to Reading, I think. Flipping heck. I went and had some Mark IIs on, apparently, a DRS Class 37. I left just after your epic fail when train sim said no. Oh, right, well, we've stopped to... Excuse me. We've set off from Doncaster, we've stopped at Retford and Grantham, and now it's, uh, as I say, it's next stop, London King's Cross. I don't think we're far off Peterborough, actually, looking at the uh, looking at the layout of the track. Is this Peterborough Station? No, uh, I think we're in New England. That's just north of Peterborough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The big freight yard. Oh, busman's off. Righty-o, thanks for joining us, busman. And uh, have a lovely evening, won't you? Do you think Hull to Scarborough should come to train sim? I, uh, yeah, that's a route I wouldn't mind on train sim. Mm. The, uh, the East Yorkshire coast. I think that'd be brilliant. Yeah. i tell you one route that I do want for train sim. Not because uh, I think I'd spend... Uh, I think I would actually spend quite a bit of time on it. But um, mm. the triangle out of Leeds. Yeah. Skipton, Ilkley, Bradford Foster Square with a triple three. Yeah. I think you've got a lot of good things you could do with scenarios on that as well. You've got freight, you've got stopping services, obviously the triple threes. You've got um, express passengers because the 158 Carlisle and Morecambe's go up there, don't they? So I, I think that'd be a really, really nice little route. And I'm surprised that Dovetail haven't done it because it's quite an enclosed network, isn't it? Yeah. And you can get away with scenery traffic from just triple threes. Well, they haven't really taken most recent version of Leeds is anything to go by do we really want them to what the others failed line yeah. yeah it wasn't fantastic was it I know there's been a couple of updates but I mean Leeds is still very flat isn't it the, the super elevation is not there well yeah exactly I mean don't get me wrong it is better than no Leeds to Manchester it's better than no Leeds to Manchester but it's still not great. When you look at the Pennine Paces, Huddersfield to Manchester, that is fantastic for a freeway route. Yeah. You can't argue with that, can you? No. Um, the dovetail pay where leads to Manchester was pretty shoddy, to be honest with you. And it doesn't have Piccadilly on. What sort of a route? Do, who does leads to Manchester to put Piccadilly on? That's the main station. Goodness sake. Uh, our game in Bradford, Foster Square this month. Absolutely. I mean, everyone calls it Foster Square anyway, don't they? So yeah, it's Bradford Foster Square, and uh, it's going to be renamed Foster Square. And uh, you'll have to have a look online as to why that might be. I mean, we know the reason, don't we? But uh, they, they want you to read up on it. Tanko says, I honestly think the seat hate on modern trains is just people being spoilt. 
As long as it doesn't cut your circula circulation off, don't complain, they really aren't that bad. Do you not mind those uh, those modern seats then, Tango? TJ says, I won't give it away. Oh, right, Peterborough is the local East Coast mainline station. I'm with you, I'm with you. My lord, that level crossing was slow, still going down as you pass through. Absolutely. Yeah, they're, they're not the quickest, are they, on the East Coast mainline? I think they're quicker than this in real life. Where do you find all the freeware for train sim? You have to uh, you have to find quite a bit of freeware. It's sort of splattered about across different yeah. different add-ons, isn't it? But you tend to find a lot of the freeware doesn't work without the payware. It's got a lot of dependencies, um, which again, wait for a train sim sale. Save up. I always wait for a sale. I mean, I only get the latest stuff because of obviously because I've been doing the YouTube side. So I get the latest stuff because I buy it because it's within my interest to buy it, isn't it? Um, but before I did the YouTube, I never got the latest stuff as soon as it came out. You know, I always waited for a sale. Oh, hang on, we've got a bit of uh, bit of signals here, adverse signalling. Double yellows. Now this is where it could all go wrong, because this is where the majority of changes were made this afternoon. Oh, is it? I mean, to be fair, it's... Right, we're, we're approaching Peterborough. Peter! So, <laughs> Sorry, Judith. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know why that... I don't know why that came into my head just then. <laughs> right, we're on top of the Atlas. <laughs> You're right, love. Right, we're on double yellows and we're off. <laughs> Sorry, it's like having Peter and Judith Tourette's, isn't it? <laughs> whenever, I whenever I think of Peterborough, <laughs> Peter! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are going to come to blows in a moment. <laughs> oh dear. Right, what's this next signal showing? I really am praying to God it's not a red because we're blasting You're towards powering it. Towards it for oh, hang on, it is. Oh no, it's not a yellow. <laughs> right, off we go. Because it's we're, we're following something, aren't we, down here? Oop, there we go. Yeah, double yellow, now green. Next one's double yellow. I think we'll uh, we'll just stick it 100 down here because it's probably something Thames Link that we're following, isn't it? Oh dear. <laughs> Imran says, what's happening? We don't know. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. We'll knock it down to 95 because we're uh, yeah. we'll let them go ahead at 100. So hopefully they'll put a bit of distance between us. It would be ace, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Hull to Scarborough via Bridlington. That would be good. Joshua plays. It's me again. He's back. <laughs> He's ace. <ahead>. Yeah. <laughs> Still at double yellows. See, this is a good thing about Magic Toad scenarios, is because they're real life scenarios. Oh, they're done with a real timetable. You do often end up following some things. Sometimes it can be quite boring on train sim scenarios, can't it? When you're just green, 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 green. Whereas well, I think this has got the nice balance, hasn't it? Because we sat outside Doncaster waiting for there, and then we've had. You know, we've had plenty of time between Doncaster and Peterborough to blast along at 125. Whereas now, you know, we've we've caught something up, a little bit of adverse signalling, so it's it's good, it's good. And again, like I say, I absolutely uh, I absolutely love this scenario. Uh, Magic Toad will very shortly put a link in the description, not description in the chat. If you want to go and check out this scenario, it will cost you a grand total of one pound, which again, I think is pretty awesome. For, uh, for, I know, Mike, Mike's gone, I bet he's nodded off in chair. Simon Rashley, hello from one Mike 92 Oh, hello Simon Rashley, how are you dear? Nice to see my local train station being fully modelled, absolutely. I mean, if it was Peterborough you were talking about, we flew through it. Thameslink are 24 and 54 minutes past the hour out of Peterborough. 
Maybe this one will let it. Maybe. Maybe. You just never know. Oh, Mike's still here. Yeah, pop uh, one, of, one of you, pop a link to the scenario in the uh, in the chat there, so that if anyone wants to go and check it out, they can do. Right, we'll just drop down to 90, because again, we, we seem to be catching up whatever this is in front. There you go, Magic Toads put it in the uh, in the chat there. Again, it costs you £1, and it's 2 hours and 10 minutes of scenario. Just make sure, as I say, before downloading, there is, uh, there is a list of requirements. Just make sure you check those out so you're not disappointed. Uh, the link is if you want to buy this scenario. Uh, the scenario costs you £1, Joshua Blaze. And, uh, yeah, it's the full run from Selby to London King's Cross, which we are driving. Are you daring to use a Q word? Goodness me. Mr. Moonwalker, I should be revising right now for my English GCSE tomorrow, but oh well. Oh, heck. Don't just wing it, love. Make sure you put those hours in. You'll be grateful later on. Don't look at me. Got a B in my English GCSE, I'll have you know. So did I. Did you? Yeah. Looks can be deceiving, can't they? Mm. <laughs> Riley says, I swear Thameslink is permanently late. Oh dear. Are you not a fan? See, I quite like the 700s. I just don't think they're, um, don't think they're necessarily fantastic for, uh, for the long distance routes that they put them on. You know, like, it's a long way, isn't it, from Peterborough to Cambridge, for example. Yeah. It, it does seem a hell of a long way if you're going all the way. Personally, if I lived in Peterborough and I wanted to go all the way down... Did I say Cambridge? I meant Brighton. I said Peterborough to Cambridge. You can't go Peterborough to Cambridge on the Thames link, can you? No, you can't. You can go to Pe you can go to Peterborough and you can go to Cambridge on the Thames link, can't you? You just can't go from one to the other. Um, <laughs> exploring all UK stations says hello to us both, Joe hello. and Magic Toad. Um, but yeah, you can go uh, like Peterborough to Brighton. I will get the East Coast down to London, the Tube to Victoria to get a bit of tube action and then uh, I go on the southern that's that's just probably how I would do it 700s are good for a 40 minute journey Connell I'm back now what did I miss we are just following something Connell we've just gone through Peterborough and uh, yeah we're just following something on double yellow signal so we're, uh, we're just taking it steady. We've got the speed set set at 80 miles an hour. Exploring all UK stations. You got a B in your English, Joe. What did you get in maths? I got an A in maths and I got an A in statistics as well. Two separate. You know, people think I'm a little bit ditzy, but when it comes to maths, sharp as attack. Show your age now, statistics. Yeah. And A's, A's, B's and C's. They don't do those anymore, no, they're numbers. No. Yeah. God. It's like when my uncle used to go on about O levels and I used to sit there thinking, O levels, how old are you? Mm. And now it's exactly the same thing with us, isn't it? A's, B's and C's. There'll be people in the, uh, in the, in the, uh, I've just read what Riley's put, get some tubage joke <laughs> with a laughing face. Perhaps that came out a little bit wrong. A bit of a, a bit of a tube action. No, hang on, that's, <laughs> oh no, it's getting worse. A bit of uh, London Underground action. There you go. Bit of London Underground bashing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Can you stop? What? I meant it completely innocently and you're bringing the tone down. I bet you did. It doesn't feel slow when you're doing 80, does it? Oh dear. Oh, Imran's got the scenario. Fantastic. There is another couple on there, Imran. I don't know how many you've put on, but the... Is it just the Thameslink one as well, or did yeah, you put more on? Yeah, I'm gonna in, in, in the process of moving them all over. The Thameslink is a free one, um, and then the, the this is a payware one. But uh, yeah, it's certainly worth it. Certainly worth it. Again, I'd, I'd, you look at Armstrong Powerhouse. They sell scenarios through their powerhouse installer, don't they? And like, you've got Peterborough to London, and that's 99p. So I really don't think that Selby to London's bad value at all for the amount of hours you spend on it as well. And let's not forget that every single time Magic Toad places a class 180 in Train Sim, the game crashes, you get a temp dump, 
And normally it's quite funny because we'll be on Discord chatting and then you'll just hear a ah. You're like, yep, he's placed a 180. <laughs> Speaking of 180s, what on earth is this coming the other way? I think it's a 700. It is a 700. Give him a wave. Oh no, don't wave. They're the local link men. We're in city. Well, we're not, are we? We're not in a link. We're, uh, we're private operator, yeah. aren't we? So it's probably them that don't wave towards. Well, the whole trend will have a link. Well, yeah, very true. Imran says, I will be downloading after. It's a fantastic scenario. There you go, oh, love. Gosh. You've done well. You've excelled yourself. Thank you. You'll be going nowhere, exactly, Kestrel. I wonder if they've left that in deliberately on Train Sim, because the 180s have got a, uh, a bit of a reputation, haven't they? It certainly does precede them. So I wonder if DTG have deliberately left that in that they are spontaneously unreliable on Train Sim. Well, Do you reckon there's someone with just a bit of a wicked sense of humour? This looks 802 ish. There you go, hull trains there. Going the other way, give them a wave. I'm sure last time I came down here when I was testing your scenario, I just left it at 100. And it was fine. 80, things are really getting away. You know, I, I, we're catching up with it, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, I do still play Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and X Plane, but unfortunately, uh, I've had some problems with reliability with it on my PC. Um, so I've not wanted to do it on stream, simply because I, I just don't want it to be, you know, to let us down. Thing is, with this, we can save this, and that's fine. Whereas flight sim, you can't save it, can you? So um, it's it's one of them. If it goes down and you're two hours into a flight, that's that. You've lost everything. Um, Mr. Train Guy says, "Omsi two or Train Sim Classic?" Oof, that's a difficult one. For me, it's Train Sim Classic. I, I know you do spend a lot of time on Train Sim. I think Trains in Classic, you, you have a lot more game playability, don't you? Yeah. I mean, I know it's driving trains, but like, there's a lot more routes, there's a lot more trains, there's a lot more, you know, there's a lot more things you can do, because Train Sim is a lot more heavily developed. Yeah. As brilliant as it is, there's only so many times you can do the 35. Exactly. And I love the 35, don't get me wrong, the 35 on West Country is brilliant, but... Yeah, the, you know, that's. I mean, don't get me wrong, over the past few years, the English bus scene has come on leaps and bounds. Heck, have we got a green signal here? And we can't be far from Huntingdon then, can we? Has that gone off? Yeah, look at that, all greens. And away we go. All the way greens to London now, hopefully. AIQ says, Joe, your Planet Coast videos have inspired me to buy the game myself, enjoying it, but I'm not a skilled builder like you. I'm not a skilled builder on Planet Coaster, I'm terrible at it. I'm absolutely atrocious. In fact, most people refuse to ride the roller coasters I built from scratch because of nausea slash they die. The G Force would actually kill them. In fact, my other half uh, is a bit of a roller coaster, uh, roller coaster connoisseur, shall I say. And uh, when he saw the G-forces, uh, he, he was crying with laughter. He was like, you'd kill them all on there. It was like a minus four G going around the corner. It's like, you'd literally, they would die. Like, oh, right, okay. There you go, there's the Thames link we were following. Should we give him a two as we go past? <laughs> Went to the shop, did you crash? No, everything is fine, Nathan. In fact, Nathan, you should go to the Magic Toad shop and purchase yourself this scenario. Absolutely should. But then you don't really do train sim, do you? Well, at least that, do we? He likes watching it. That will tell you something. Well, likes to watch, but just doesn't like to get involved himself, bless him. Random things, I've just picked up the Studio Polygon Renown and the Southwest Trains Main Line for Train Sim Classic. So I think I'll be taking a break on DLCs for about a day or two. Absolutely. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, that Studio Polygon Renown will keep you busy for a good while. It's a fantastic bus. I love driving it. 
<laughs> 200 Nathan, you need a bit more than that, love. Um, <laughs> yeah, the Studio Polygon Renown is awesome. Everything from Studio Polygon is awesome, but uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely a good, good bus. I think you'll probably spend more hours on that than on the Southwest Trains mainline, because it's quite a short route, isn't it? Moonwalker. Is this a DLC which has Heart for Loop and the Margate Tunnels? I think it is, yeah. It is this one, isn't it? So it has Heart for Loop, it doesn't have Margate. It doesn't have Margate, it does have Heart for Loop, in case you didn't say that. Uh, my, I, didn't that. Uh, I meant to see that. Sorry. In case you didn't hear yeah, that, yeah. that's what I meant to say. I, it's because I was reading Mike's comment, 13, because he's been with us for 13 months as a Joe Plus member. It says, 13, Joe's mental age. Those who live in glass houses should not throw stones, Michael. Start to your age, not your shoe size. <laughs> oh, I've not heard that for years. <laughs> Used to say that at school. When King's Cross is closed, how do Hull trains get to St Pancras? It's a good question, actually. I think I don't think they go they don't go down the middle of mainline, do they? Sometimes they do. Do they? Yeah. So how does that work at Doncaster they turn right and go to Sheffield and down? Yeah. No. No. Um, it's not no, they don't go to Sheffield, they go around the back of Barrow Hill. Right. Where's Barrow Hill? Chesterfield and turn right. Chesterfield in on the How do they get off the East Coast main line? They go Doncaster and I think down to Mexborough. The back. That's Doncaster and turning right, isn't it? Down to Mexborough. Yeah, you turn right, go down to, to Mexborough, but then you go around the back of Sheffield. Ah, right, I'm with you. Some of the, the, the EMR stuff misses out Dronfield and goes around the back of Sheffield. Diversion. I mean, they can obviously go the same way that the Thameslink trains go, can't they? Where they, they come down here and then they turn right just yeah, before Kings Cross and go across to St Pancras that way. So if it is just Gasworks Tunnels and King's Cross that's shut, they can come down the East Coast. But obviously they can apparently go down the middle of Main Line as well. Sabre Alex 13 says, how's your day been? It's been brilliant, thank you. I've had Magic Toad with me all day today. We've had a good day, haven't we, to be fair? We've not done an awful lot. But, uh, and congratulations on the 20k. Thank you very much for that, Sabre Alex 13. And, uh, and thanks for being here. It's a good, uh, it's good fun, isn't it? They're belting along 51 miles to London. Where does the time go? The time flies when you're on. Yeah. Fly Virgin so Trains. Frank. Give over. You mean. You mean. Got 125 viewers though, we're not doing badly, are we? That's, that's not bad. Oh, loves to dance, says Joe. I love you. Oh, I love you too. We're sharing the love. Don't gurn, it's not flattering. You alright? No. <laughs> uh, train guy, car guy M says, can you do a trackside camera and honk as the train goes past? I could physically do it. It is, it is possible to do it, but I'm not going to do it. It's just the realms of reality. Yeah, it is possible to do it. I will let you try that if you can download the scenario because I don't want it to crash again. Um, we're doing well. We're flying along. And uh, yeah, I just don't want to upset the apple cart. It's so close to uh, so close to the finish line. I definitely, I never used to enjoy driving this bit between Peterborough and Stevenage because there's not really an awful lot to see, is there? But since I've been playing this, it really, really is good. There's another. Got back into it recently, I you? have really got back into Trent Simulator, yeah. I think it's since I got this um, Railworks Enhancer patch, I just think it looks awesome. Uh, no, whilst they can't run EMUs down the majority of, late of what the uh, of the East Midlands. Middle main line, that's the one. Uh, don't forget that these 802s do have a diesel engine under them, as we were on diesel earlier from Selby to the East Coast main line. 
Templehurst Junction, there yes. you go. Oh, practically signed the route. Um, yeah, they do have diesel engines, so in the event they needed to divert down the middle of main line, they could just pop the pans down, diesel engines on, and way. Hey presto, off we go. It's good. That's why I think, although I know the 80Xs do get a lot of hate, because obviously they replace the HSTs, the concept is brilliant. Because, yeah. I mean, when you think a Lincoln train, or this, you know, it's silly running a 180 all the way to London. And I can see Grand Central getting them as well, to be honest with you. It's just a sensible thing, yeah. isn't it? For, for a route that spends so much time under electric wires. Like I'm you take surprised a, they haven't, to be fair. I'm surprised Grand Central haven't. If anything, with them, mind you, whole trains with have been first group could tag some 802s onto the TPE order, couldn't they? Yeah. Whereas Grand Central or Eva haven't ordered any, to my knowledge. No, or Eva talk else, have they? No, but I think, is, is it because they're open access so they don't get funding for new trains? That's probably true, yeah. Uh, so that's why they sort of picked 180s from where they can. Yeah. Because nobody wants 180s anymore. 12 car Thames link, fucking heck. That's a long way. Isn't it? It's a long way, isn't it? Need for Transit says, Do you remember the ETS2 stream where you were crowned the romantic title of Jim McDonald? Absolutely. Absolutely. It is actually a point, Riley. I've often thought about that. HSTs were called so because they are high speed. So the 80Xs are also HSTs. They are high speed trains. They don't go yeah, faster. They are, they are intercity yeah. express train. An 80X in Grand Central will be absolutely stunning. And do you know what? I think I agree with you. But very similar to whole train. Uh, yeah, to whole train. Well, yeah, just plain colour with a stripe down the side. Black and orange. I mean, to be fair, black as a colour for a train, you find that a lot of the like the panel lines are sort of lost because obviously it's a very dark colour, isn't it? Well, the darkest colour you can get is black, colour, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, so I think black on a train, you an eight or whatever coming towards you probably wouldn't much look much different to a one hundred and eighty. <laughs> yeah. you, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference from a, a distance. But then you get into the argument of would they put a yellow front on it? Would they put a yellow front? Because a one hundred and eighty without a yellow front, same as an eight or an eight or two, we'll say for example, without a yellow front in black, that that would be very like. Train going past. Oh, it's a five car flipping it. <laughs> Do they often uh, run five cars on Lincolns? That's all they run. Is it? Yeah. Do they not run ten cars? It's not long enough, is it? I don't know. I've never been. I went once. You've been on trains. So. I've been on trains. So it was a while ago, though. Come on, be fair. But they used to run HSTs there. Surely it could fit a nine car. No, but these. You're running out of arguments here. Yeah, if you bought a five, you bought five car trains, why would you run a ten car on the platform? Maybe there isn't the, the, uh, the patronage. Yes, the footfall. That's the, the footfall. And yeah, absolutely, I agree, Nathan. We can do another ETS2 stream at some point with the updated robots. Mike says Lincoln isn't long enough, it barely fits a five car. Aw, oh, poor Lincoln. Just remember where to stop, Mike. Good lord, 37 miles to King's Cross. It were only 100 last time I looked. Yeah. Belting along, where's this? Is this Sandy? St Neots? One of them, isn't it? St Neots has Neots island, island platforms, do not yeah. it? Yeah, might be Sandy. 
No. No. Sandy St. Neots Huntingdon are all north of Stevenage. Sandy is just one of those sort of non-event stations that I don't yeah. really know a lot about. Is there a lot to know about? Alzi. Alzi. Alzi? Is it? Alzi? I'm, I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. Nathan? Yeah. Nathan, where are you? You're from the south. Mike says it was Kids Grove. I think you're lying to us. You need a stronger prescription, love. <laughs> Train Guy Car Guy M says, I've got to go now because I've got school tomorrow. Bye and have a great night. Well, you too, Train Guy Car Guy M. Thanks for joining and you'll be able to catch up on the rest of the stream, of course. Any bits that you've missed out on uh, will be on YouTube. Of course. Where else would it be? Uh, but yeah, you'll be able to see us pulling into London. Hopefully there'll be quite a bit of stock south of here. And it looks like we've got a yellow signal, so we'll put a bit of, bit of breaking in. Don't do what you did last time. I know. Oh, we can't be far from it. Chin then, yeah. can we? <laughs> yeah, we had a little bit of a faux pas during testing. Oh dear. Nathan says, what do you want? I'm driving. Well, you should be using your phone while driving. Or you your shouldn't, Nathan. For that matter. <laughs> Why have you got your computer in your car? Silly sausage. It's pronounced Alzi, apparently. Right. There you go. Let's put that one to bed. Yeah. That's the Cambridge line going off there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we've got somebody. Uh... Who's this? Thames Link on a red. And we're on a, a single yellow. So we must be uh, must be stopping for something. What do we got? We've got a red. Ooh, don't know. Don't know. I wonder why we're stopping. Should we try to tap past it just in case it's broken? Absolutely not. You have to <laughs> <be told so. laughs> No, very true. Uh, stream probably got for about another 20 minutes, I would have thought. Yeah, I'd say so. No, half an hour. Half hour. Yeah. Roughly the stream's going to go on for. Just until we get in uh, into King's Cross. Transport Fan 2003 says, Guessing a 387 has joined ahead. I can confirm this because uh, I wasn't paying attention during testing and I went belting through all these signals at 125 and nearly crashed into the back of uh, slash coupled up to said 387. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely a 387. It's just stopped at hitching and it's just come over. Connell says Nathan has a Tesla, so he's more or less got a computer in his car. No, Nathan has an iGo. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. He has a, uh, a Nissan iGo. No, he doesn't. He has a Toyota iGo and uh, it's a plug in hybrid. So he gets a lot of miles to the gallon, does our Nathan? Uh, AIQ, what liver is the 802 in? Normal, or that grey 20 years thing? It's in the normal uh, whole trends livery. As per the thumbnail. <laughs> as per my previous email. <laughs> no, as per the thumbnail. Yeah, it's just in the normal livery. Uh, Mr. Klaus is working on uh, on the grey livery. Nathan says it's a Yaris. No, it's not. not. It's an Igo. <laughs> it's a plug-in hybrid. Oh, dear. Um... Yeah, Lewis Clowes is currently working on a grey livery for the uh, for the 802. But it's just... Oh, uh, he's got his back up now. He has got his back up, and he? He's had to pull over at the side of the road to angry type. He'll be typing in capitals in a moment. Oh, David Curtis has joined us as well. Lovely to see you live. Welcome to our stream, you Hello, beautiful Dave. person. Hello, Dave. <laughs> oh, I'm leaning on buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> Guards leaning on buzzer. (laughs) 
Can we get an outside shot? Do you know what, TJ? I'd love to, but I don't want the sim to crash again. <laughs> if we were on a slightly shorter route, I would. I just really don't want it to crash. We've come so far. No, you're thinking I don't look back in anger. No, that's it. Yeah. I can't believe how far we've come together. I know it's emotional. It is, isn't it? You saving after Stevenage? I absolutely am. Are we at Stevenage yet? I don't think we're quite there, are we? Around the corner, Have we been through Nebworth yet? No, because I'm after Stevenage. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, isn't it nice when you learn new things? <laughs> no, Nebworth's north of Stevenage, isn't it? No. Is it not? Has it moved? Yeah. Has it? Oh, well, you see, this is it. I don't get down the east coast often enough. Right, so we're here, Stevenage. Right, there we go. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to save it now. So that in the event of a crash, we get to go blasting through Stevenage again. I'm surprised whatever it is that... Uh, whatever it is. Oh, look, there you go. Look at what's coming the other way. Somebody asked, are we going to see a Lumo today? And there you go. There's a Lumo just there for you. Flashing past the other way. Uh, somebody says, did we go past Peterborough? Yes, we did. A little while ago. Yeah, you see, you said change the speed selector. I was just not quite sure whether uh, the 387 was out of the way. Maybe he's gone on the slows now. In fact, I don't know where he's gone. Well, he, he wasn't stopped at Stevenage, was he? No. The, um, Where's he gone? Has he gone down the, there? He won't have gone the on the hat. Do they even stop at hitching? No. Are they not? Flipping heck. Yeah, I, I, well, how come the 387's so much further out of our way? We were doing 100. Because I think they can do 110. Oh, can they? I think so. Can they? I thought they could only do 100. So, Wikipedia again. Yep, yeah, Wikipedia on standby. There you go. Oh, we'll all have another yeah, row in. 110, right, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll we'll do 125 until we start getting restrictive aspect signalling again. Imran says, when I do that, I get grinding noise. When you do what? What are we on about here? Speed selectors. Ooh, we've got a Lanur coming the other way here. Don't do a Matt Pedalston. That could be a number of things, couldn't it? Transport fan 2003 says uh, the 387s are non stop from when they join the East Coast Main Line, and yes, they can do 110. Who knew? Apart from everyone else, apart from me, obviously, yeah. Right, we're coming around to Welling North now, so we're, uh, we'll just knock it back. I like Welling North, I, I think it's fantastic. It's so bizarre, though, that like, it's four track all the way from wherever it starts being four track, and then there's just this little bottleneck of two track. Well, yeah, but you'd think, because, like, you think around uh, Hadley Wood, it's four track, isn't it? Four track, tunnels, station, tunnels. It could have built like that. Well, yeah, but why wasn't this built with four? <laughs> <laughs> Your argument does not hold water. <laughs> Victorians ran out of money. Well, exactly. Well, yeah. That is, well, it's as good an argument as any other that we've had. Going on. Right, we've got... I'm just going to knock that down to 110 because I can see a yellow signal on the horizon. Courtesy of the Armstrong Powerhouse Signal Enhancement Pack. It's an absolute game changer. Armstrong Powerhouse have just revitalised train sim for me. Just knock it back to 100.
Where are we now? Welling Garden City. Got a 717 on the right hand side there. Welly win. Whenever we go through Welling, I always think of wellies. Mm. Yeah. Yep, there are also 717s. Yep, we've just passed one. Uh, Q says, Dovetail should just hand the reins to AP at this point. What, just to develop their own train simulator? I think they should. I think Armstrong Powerhouse could do a fantastic train simulator. But would Armstrong Powerhouse make a train simulator and then do Armstrong Powerhouse enhancement packs for their own train simulator? Well, no, because it would already be up to their standards. Ah, very true. Yeah, but I, d I don't know how I'd feel without an Armstrong Powerhouse enhancement pack. Well, Love a good it, enhancement yeah. pack. Yeah, Richard Powerhouse. No, it's not Richard Powerhouse, is it? Richard Armstrong. Armstrong. There we go. He's on telly. Is he? No, that's the other one. No, you're thinking of Richard Harris. Um, he played Dumbledore in the uh, in the first Philosopher's Stone. We're getting off track. Um, <laughs> quite literally. Uh, no, Rich, Richard Powerhouse. No, it's not Richard Powerhouse. Richard For goodness sake, Richard Armstrong. Yes. If you are listening to this, which is highly unlikely, make your own train sim, love. Don't rely on the current train sim. It'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? I'd absolutely... I can't say I could help, because I wouldn't. I'd be useless. Uh, I'd be, do you know, I'd be more useless than knickers on an avocado. But, um, but I'd enjoy playing it. There you go. Crack on, love. There wouldn't be any tent dumping, would there? There'd be none of that. Absolutely not. If anything, the person playing it would tempt them because they'd be so... Brain and overload. Yeah, because it would just be so brilliant. Right, we'll go back up to 110 because we're getting greens again. I hope we don't align arriving to the middle of the middle of the PM. I hope we don't have some superior on this scenario if we do. 11.30 PM, yeah, we've got... <laughs> 12 and a half hour wait just outside London. Oh, there's congestion at King's Cross today. Oh dear. Two hours and ten minutes. Where does the time go? Another 12 car. How long it'll be until we see a 16 car train on our railways? Well, how long are the Elizabeth Line trains? I don't know, actually. Wikipedia. Wikipedia. <laughs> what are they, three, four, fives? Or are they the overground adventurers? Can't be longer than 12 car, aren't they like 10 or something? Twelve. I reckon the twelve. Nine. Nine car. Flipping neck. I thought they were longer. Bigger Fox has already said nine car. ETA to get in. Uh, it's ten fifty three now. And um, we're doing at eleven oh eight. Fifteen minutes, approximately. Three eight seven coming the other way there. Lovely. We'll just drop down to 100 because it's coming to 100. Uh, we don't want to catch up that 387 too quickly, do we? God, more double yellows. Goodness me. There we go. We'll just drop down to 90. Oh, for the love of speed set. Brilliant, isn't it? Love a bit of speed set. Oh, this is Adley Wood here. I'd love to go spotting here. Well, we'll have to go. We will? Yeah. I've never been. I'd absolutely love to come here. As it happens, I've only ever flown through at 100 miles an hour. Yes, me too.
didn't realise they only go through here at 100 mile an hour, but when you look at the uh, Hadley Wood videos on YouTube, they look like they're flying through. I don't think this is Hadley Wood, is it? I think it's, is it round the corner? It's in a straight line. Yeah, and this is a corner, so this isn't Hadley Wood. Oh, hang on, right. It's the next tunnel then. It is the next tunnel, but we do have a single yellow there. So we're going to have to get a bit of braking in. No, we're not near Finsbury Park yet. Not quite near Finsbury Park yet, no. A little bit further to go yet. There we go, this is Hadley Wood. Again, you come flying through a tunnel, through the station, and then back into a tunnel. I just think it's fantastic. Mm. Should this signal be red? I don't know. I don't think it, it's never been red before and it's a green one afterwards. Oh, it's a yellow now. Right, tell me the signal number. There we go. Yeah, pass. when we pass the signal number, we'll have a look. We'll get that fixed for anyone that's downloaded the scenario. I need a pen. Uh, pen! There you go. Post it note. Thank you. But again, it's a green after that, so I, I don't really know why we've. Right, let's zoom in. The kilo, I think. Kilo 514. There we go. Right, back up to 100. Because again, we're not going to catch the 387 now, are we? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, that's the one. If you're near Finsbury Park, remember to see the Emirates Stadium. That's on the left, isn't it? Yeah, TJ, the longest train to operate on the National Rail Network would have been the Class 373s, I'd say, when they ran from Waterloo. 373s had two power cars and 18 coaches, but don't forget they were little coaches. The coaches were a lot shorter, weren't they? What's this for, sorry? 373 Eurostars. Those um, stop boards are still at Copley Hill. Are they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Grand Central coming the other way, give them a wave. Or don't if you're not a Grand Central fan. Oh, look at this, what's this here? Oh heck! Oh no! Oh no! Disaster! Oh, no. What's that doing there? Heck! Oh my lord! What has happened? <laughs> How have you broken it? It worked fine in testing! Oh good lord! Right, well that is where the stream ends I'm afraid everybody. That'll be why we had a red signal. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah. But then it went to greens. Oh, good lord. Right, well, that is where we're going to leave it for today. Exactly. I do not know what has happened there, everybody, that because... That perfectly fine. We literally drove it last night and haven't changed anything, and it worked fine. So, again, I am so, so sorry about that. That's not going to be something we can correct this evening. So, uh, yeah. We've got two hours and 15 minutes in the stream, which is about how long we planned it to be anyway. Uh, Magic Toad is now going to investigate that and make sure that for anyone who has purchased the scenario, uh, it will be rectified again. I am really sorry about that. That's not quite how we want it to end, is it? But uh, there we go. Well, thank you everybody for joining. I do hope that uh, most of the way you enjoyed that. I was having a whale of a time. Yeah. I can't believe you've done that to me. I'm not talking to you either. I'm talking to Train Sim. Uh, yeah, again, really sorry about that, folks. If you've, uh, Imran says, refund that pound, yeah. Um, yeah, you'll have to submit a uh, compensation claim for uh, for that. Uh, yes, uh, thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope, regardless of the rather catastrophic ending, uh, that you have enjoyed that anyway. As I say, there is a link in the description where you can download this scenario and it will be fixed. So, uh, yeah, I, I would encourage you to go and do that still. Because when it works, it's a brilliant little scenario. Uh, so, oh, no. yes. Messages are flooding in now. What's happening? Oh, oh. dear. You've humiliated yourself, love. <laughs> Anything to say for yourself? No. There we go. Thanks so much for watching. If you have enjoyed that, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. And if you haven't already, do make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on any future train sim content. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. Thanks for joining, everybody. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.